Alright, cool. I'm gonna start off. All, character, all my characters are now 34. You're gonna see right now in a little bit once this crap thing loads up. I cuss way too much, don't I? Yep, all of them are 34. Let's go through all of them. we we'll start off with my main, the Warlock. I'm gonna go through everything, I'm gonna go through all my characters, I'm gonna go through my vault and everything else. Start off? There you go. It's probably my favorite, one of my favorite scouts. Just because they have the freaking art burn on it. I'll obviously see the Vex, the Multi, the Thorn, the Shop. It's one of the best scout rifles you can reforge. Get it from the dead orbit. The Vision, obviously everyone knows where to get that. Or the Crota, just keep it there. This I just use for Prison of Elders. I don't really use this. Obviously an Icebreaker. The Matador, man. It's one of the best guns in this game right now. It's compared to my Fell Winters. Pretty much, these two are my favorite guns right now. Next, you got the freaking Jolder's Hammer. We got my Last Rebellion, Thunderlord. You know, pretty much obvious things here. Wall 5 with the freaking exotic helmets for the Warlock. Honestly, this one's more of my favorite, just for the Sunsinger class. It's because it regens your health. This is more for PvE. For PvP, I wouldn't even run this. I'd run the... Switch this around. I'd put that on. Just for the double melee. But this is just for the Sunsinger. If you go for the Voidwalker... The ram, man, nothing beats that ram. Just because of that, the second thing. The melee thing, it's amazing, man. There's only a three second cooldown. It's the best thing you can ever put up with. Just with the Void Walker. You put that and you put Life Steel on, you're always, you're gonna get your super back even quicker and you're always gonna have health up. You put that with along with the Red Death, I don't have to quit, but um, I wish I had better gauntlets, but that's it. Everything just goes for strength. Now. Oosh. Exotic chest pieces. I wish I had the new Warlock chest piece. That's one thing I'm still hunting down. Some of the Trials gear. Crota. And the boots. Right here. <laughs> right there in the boots. Why? Just intellect. The best thing you can put up with. Carry more heavy. Carry more special. For everything. That's why I like. I like this over this. Just because you can carry way more special ammo for everything, not just a, a certain thing. Honestly, I thought that would have taken way longer in my war, like, but apparently I don't even have guns on him. That sucks. But, let's move on to another character. Let's go on my Titan. You know these screens, man. Right. Let's see. Obviously, for the Titan, my favorite class, subclass, Defender. You just can't beat it, man. The best thing. I don't know why I have this lit up, but it should be like this. Max damage, defender, the best thing you can put up, man. Weapons of light. This is up to you, but I'm a team player. I love making orbs for the teammates whenever I'm in a fire team. Every punch, every kill you get against the, uh, an ad, it makes orbs. <laughs> more orbs once it takes enough damage. Even more orbs once it does heavy on it. Well, Crota guns. Another Vex. I've been collecting Vexes. I'm already freaking over 10. You got a baker's dozen already. I keep having to delete them. My fate bringer. I deleted it. I have to delete so many guns. You're going to see right now when I get to the vault. I had to delete so many guns because I had duplicates of the vault of glass ones. I had duplicates. Just too many. Party crasher. Another good shotgun. Probably rank it third. Third, fourth among the new shotguns. It's going to go Matador, Fell Winters. I'll probably go between this and maybe the Judgment. 
You know, obviously mine sucks, but, you know, I don't really use this for PvP. I don't even use the time for PvP, he's strictly the PvE. Vective, you know, Icebreaker, the typical things you're gonna see. When... Galahorn, man, the galley, that's all you need for this game. Then you got the typical heavy stuff, Truth, Thunderlord, Super Good, Dragon's Breath. Right here, my favorite helmet, my favorite helmet overall, the Helmet Saint 14. Just because the last thing it does, it makes them blind. Once you pop that bubble up, it's, they're immediately blind in there. Everything except the bosses. Also have every helmet for the tie-in. I'm pretty sure I have every helmet for the tie-in right now. So it creeps me the hell out every time I... Look at it! It's creepy! <laughs> there. Boom! Um, next best thing. Besides this, my next favorite thing is this. Are these ruined wings. Just because, read that. Heavy ammo drops more often, it contains more ammo each drop. You don't know what. It is heaven using these two things together in PvE. Everyone knows that. This is so much fun to use. You'll have heavy constantly, and you'll have more heavy of it every time you pick it up. I just have this, you know, scout, more shotgun ammo. And this time I actually upgraded the the VOG boots, just because intellect. But there, I still have some of the Trial of Osiris gear. Same here. Armamentarium. I'm still missing a couple. I'm missing obviously the no backup gauntlets and the other DLC2 gauntlets. I'm missing the chest of Alpha Lupi for the tie-in, and I'm missing these other exotic boots for the tie-in. So I'm still searching for stuff on him. Now, I'm pretty sure no one cares about the inventory. I pretty much split everything up in here between all three characters. Here's one. Oh, I didn't show it, but also my Warlock has one of these. And you can only hold... Each character can only hold one, including your Vault. You can only hold a, a maximum of four of these things. And alright, that's pretty much it for the time, man. The Striker, I don't really use them at all. I really just see no use of the Striker outside of the PvP. Alright, next. Alright, now for the final one, the Hunter. If I had to rank the characters on usefulness, the way I see it, first off, Titan, PvE, obviously. Then the Warlock, PvE. And then the Hunter. <laughs> PvE. Just because I don't really see that main useful for it. But PvP is a completely different story. It's gonna be Hunter, Warlock, Titan. <laughs> like I said, here I flip around between both of them Gunslinger and um, Blade Dancer. I still have a Gunslinger. You know, same thing with the Warlock, the Trap. One of the best scout rifles you could get that doesn't have a burn. There's one, no, I take it back, I take it back. There's one scout rifle that's better, just because it had the same stats as this. It just has four more rounds of the magazine, and I'll take that over. Another Vex, last word. He used this in P. Yeah, same time. He used this in Crucible? I hate you. I hate you if you use this in Crucible. <laughs> Another Fell Winter. You know, typical things, plants to eat. You know, a lot of crappy guns. You know. Now, they're pretty much just heavy crap. All my stuff's pretty much in my vault. One of my favorite rocket launchers is PvP. Just because of the client cartridge. You can hold three, possibly three. And then the freaking grenade horseshoes. It helps you out a lot. Because it doesn't even have to hit them, it just has to be around them. And it still kills them. Like it says. Now, this. Oof. Here's the thing. With this gun. Look at this gun. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> With this helmet. I don't want to upgrade it all the way, just because it only shoots one shot, but it does six damage. But the thing is, when you compare this to this, I'd rather have intellect compared to discipline. This gives you four shots, but this gives me a higher intellect, so I just run that. But so chill, I'll just do this. Do the same thing. But, like I said, I'd rather have the higher intellect. I'd still be freaking... 
I already have the third light to do it, I just feel too lazy to do it. And then right here, same thing with the um, gauntlets. What? <laughs> the don't touch me gauntlets. And the... Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. I'm still missing one. I'm missing the new gauntlets for the hunter to make him go invisible also. The chest pieces, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm missing. Here's one of the... Here's one of the... Uh, Trial of Osiris gear. And here, I upgraded the Crota boots just because of the... It was a little bit different. <laughs> Higher intellect, I should probably should have done that. But whatever, it was important to hit 34 first. That was the first thing to hit, 34 in the beginning. And then pretty much it. Like I said, here's another here's another crux. My warlock also has it, I'm just too lazy to freaking find it. And then that's pretty much it. A shader, get over it, screws me man. This is the first time it's ever getting me a shader. Alright, let's go see the freaking vault. Alright, let's see what's going on the vault. Alright, we'll start off with the gear. You know, there's all the Crota gear. Crota gear, what am I talking about? Iron Banner gear, Ultra Glass gear, just for the different classes. You know, I don't know, I just see all, the, all this gear I have right here, just because I don't want to carry more. Starting off, Vanquisher. I preferred this way back then, before even the first DC came out. This and the Shadow Price. Two best guns, two best auto rifles for the fucking nerf. Howdy Seek, same thing. <laughs> before the Fell Winters, before all the other, other BS shoddies came. This was my favorite shotgun. These two. Then we got to start, then we're gonna start with the raid stuff. Pocket Infinity, Bad Juju, Hard Light, Zeros. The Iron Banner auto rifle, No Land Beyond. The Epilogue. The Necrochasm. Come on, Bungie, you nerf, nerf it. <laughs> yeah, nerf it more than. Bust the shit! Bust all the rifles! The tired of getting bullshitted by scouts. And by pulse rifles. Monte Carlo. The dead orbit hand cannon. Her mercy. Hand cannon from the queef. The best defiant. The found verdict. The fang. The fourth holy shit. <laughs> the fourth horseman. And then this. Right? pretty much a douche. This is what I use for trials, just because of the final round. You see that? I mean, it really means bonus damage. You will hit them. Hit them in the toe, they'll down. They are down. And you know, I just keep this in here. This also, too, just so you can beat them there. Lightweight. And Bungie decided to nerf all the special ammo. You know, every time you spawn in a trial, it's a new round every time, so you spawn in. So you occasionally gain more ammo. And then again, with lightweight, you beat them there. You just have to beat the other sniper there. That was that's my role right there. We got one of the fusion rifles that you buy from Judgment Chance, Swordbreaker, one of the uh, Charles of Osiris fusion rifles, the uh, Future War Call hand cannon, Patience of Time, LDR. I keep these just because armor piercings. The only reason I want armor piercing is so I can cheese some of the strikes. It's easy. Same thing with this. Seven voids on. Then we have another Gallahorn. This I flop around between the Warlock and the Hunter. Black Hammer. They have another one of these. <laughs> the only reason I have this one, I rolled another one of these, is because I want to have armor piercing. This will have the same as this a Solar, a Void, and an Arc one. Some of this one's right here for. This is for Iron Banner and Trial. Then we got the spare chain. This will two shot you. The first nine shots will two shot people to the head. Well, two shot, two burst people in the head. The next nine will two shot. I don't keep saying shot. Will two burst them to the body. Just two bursts, they're down. Glass half full. It starts with. Heck. Hmm. Well, we'll check that out. This one, Messenger, another Trials gun, going 9 no flawless. One of, the, one of the better pulse rifles out there. It melts too. Got the Red Death. We got the Hawk Moon, aka Hawk Awesome. And here, we just have some random assortment of shit. Can't wait for Zer to come back. And then here, we just keep some extra ones to reroll. Some random crap. 
there's no way to get rid of the special senses without using them, running weapon core, etheric like, I'm starting to stock up on. This from Halloween, man, from last year. Some crazy shit. And here's one of the. I really use this shit for PvP. It's because it's so good. It holds 24, but I'd rather drop down the magazine just so I can get the glass at full damage even quicker. Increase stability and reduce the mag. These two complement each other way better. And then Outlaw, obviously, you hit him in the head. The two burst him in the head. They're down. Immediately reload. Oh, oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I thought I had more shit, but apparently that's all I have to do. Alright guys, well thanks for watching, and guess I'm out.